Let's be honest, few of us really like to talk about school boards, let alone do a project on it. We frequently view school boards as either too boring to talk about or simply too complex to consider. But if we're honest, there are few areas in Christian schools that have greater reach and more impact on the day in and day out lives of our students and our teachers than school boards. Here at Sheboygan Christian, we're doing a deep dive into how to get our school board to function at a higher level. We're looking at research in the world of Christian education, and we're trying to figure out how to transform our school board from meth to missional. We believe that healthy, high-functioning boards, it's just essential for healthy schools and ultimately the students that it serves. When I joined our board four years ago, uh, it was really a struggle to understand the purpose of the board and my role as a board member. And during one of our strategic planning meetings a couple of years ago, we determined that as a board, we really need to, to focus on putting our board in a position to succeed. So in order to achieve this goal, uh, we, uh, as a board, we decided that we need to start a, a board governance committee. And that committee was tasked with defining the characteristics of a healthy board. Defining these processes will really help us as we bring on new board members and will help to make the, the new board members uh, effective from the beginning of their term. Mrs. Steenwine, we the students of SES would like to know what you are doing to ensure a bright future for our education at SES. What are you doing to steer this ship in the right direction to keep us healthy? Well, just like all of you are learning every day, our school board and our administration is learning how to do new things too so that we can do better too. First, we needed to identify the top characteristics of a high functioning board. We made a list of 25 characteristics and then we narrowed it down to 10. After we decided on the 10, then we had to rate ourselves from one to five, um, one being not so good and five being pretty good. And we were brutally honest. How honest? What was your lowest score? Well, we gave ourselves a one in the area of board orientation and board recruitment. After we decided, after we figured out we had those ratings in those low areas, then we had to decide what we needed to do with it. So our lowest ratings were in board orientation, clarity of board roles, and board recruitment. So we decided those were the areas that we needed to focus on. So now we're working with a consultant to try to help us to get better in those areas. Mrs. Steenwood, Ms. Fernandez and Ms. Atkinson always ask us what we've learned from our projects. We have to ask you, what did you learn from this project? What did you notice while doing the project? What are you still wondering about? So one of the things that we learned is that the process takes a long time. It took us about a year to get to where we are right now in the process. So we needed to start from the very bottom to learn about it first and then to make, and then to practice and to get better at it. So along the way, um, the board had to own the process. They had to learn it and that nobody could just tell them what to do. It had to be their own work. And one of the things I'm still wondering about is whether or not this work is gonna become part of our culture. Instead of it just being a new thing, I'm hoping that it'll become a part of what we do every day. Through God's faithfulness, a healthy, high-functioning school board is essential for a healthy school and ultimately the students it serves. not the only school to struggle with school board issues and we certainly haven't arrived. We have lots of work to do yet in this area. But one thing I can say is that it's been worth the time and the energy that we put into getting this far. As I said, we have lots of work to do, but I look forward to seeing how it will impact our students along the way. So Godspeed in your journey in working toward a healthier school board. And here's to Healthy school boards, healthy schools, and ultimately, 
healthy students who we serve.